Hi there, Sam Medina again from jaketheevilhair.com and darkville.com. Today we're doing another inking video. We're going to be using a couple of Copic multi liners, the 0 0.05, 0 0.3, Pigma Micron 08, and a Copic Chow number 100 stub black uh, brush tip marker. Alright, we're going to be focusing over here on. This little arm area. I like to start off with the point zero five, because then if I need to make a line heavier, I can. One of the little tricks I use is I start off with one of these very thin markers, like this point zero five, sometimes a point zero three, and let's just delineate this hair here before I ended up just to prevent myself from ending up uh, doing something with it. Alright, so we got the point uh, zero 0.05 there. And then what I do is I'll take this uh, point 0.3 and start coming up from, because our light's coming kind of from, from this way up here. So our heaviest lines are going to be in the opposite direction of that. Then we take our Pigma Micron. I tend to hold them all in my left hand uh, if it's just three markers I'm working with. That makes it easier to switch back and forth between the different markers. Now this line is going to be a little heavier down here because they're because it's away from the light, but also because we want to make it look like this sleeve here is kind of casting a little bit of a shadow on the arm. It doesn't take a whole lot to get that illusion. Now we're going to switch back to our point zero five. One of the things I like doing is I use line work like this to kind of create the illusion of a boundary between a shiny area and a kind of shaded area. And let's put in a couple of the scales from this uh, dragon scale shirt that he's wearing. Don't have to draw them all. You can if you want to, but then I find it ends up being too busy of an image. And since this is right next to it, I'll put the lines on this ear here. I like my elves to have very large ears. I don't know if that's because I like rabbits. That kind of remind me of rabbits with the long ears. Alright. And another thing we can do here. I don't always do it if I have a all shadow boundary here, but sometimes I'll throw down some hatching with a slight curve on each line to kind of suggest the curved surface that we have going on here. Now we're going to take care of this little arm area. Starting again with that point zero five. Get the basic lines in. foreshortened view so we don't see a whole lot of that tricep. There we go. And then we're going to take our Pigment Micron number 08 and we're going to go in here and 
notice a heavy line since it's away from the light. And sometimes if I'm going to fill in a little area like this with uh, a spot black, I'll sometimes do its border with the pigment micron. Reduces the probability that I may miss my mark and go over my lines. Don't have to do that, but it's it's a good way of uh, exercising a little caution. And we go back to our point zero five and give ourselves kind of a highlight boundary. And there we go. We've got our arm. Well, I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like, share us on Twitter and Facebook, and check us out over at darkfell.com and jaketheevilhair.com.